Hey guys, it's Nikki again with the Classic Trend, and this is my contest entry to uh, Super Freaky 1RU's uh, 100 Subbies Contest Giveaway. And I'm kind of embarrassed, but I made this sign for you, except it says Super Freaky RU1. Congrats on 100 Subbies. Love, Nikki. And I did your name wrong here because maybe I guess I'm slightly dyslexic. But it is Super Freaky 1RU. That is her contest. And that, um, that's her channel name. And if you want to enter her contest, that is where you would go. And I will probably link to the video down below. She is a wonderful lady. I'm going to get into that in a minute because there are a couple rules that I have to abide by in 10 minutes. First thing she wants to know is your uh, everyday go-to makeup look um, that takes, you know, not a long time. So I'm going to show you one. I have several. I have about five every day. I'm in a rush. I woke up 15 minutes late. Go-to looks. And this is one of them. Um, I've never done a look like this on YouTube before, but I do wear it to work. I wear it quite frequently actually because um, I like it. So let me tell you what I did for my face. Number one, I uh, took my shower, I washed my face, I used my Elizabeth Arden Prevage, um, I used the face and the day and I let that sink in for as long as possible before I start with my makeup. They say three minutes is about enough time but the longer you let it sink in it's gonna start plumping filling out lines so your makeup's gonna be easier to go on so I let that sit in for a while since it's Sunday I'm not in a hurry but I pretended like I was um, next thing I did I use my NARS sheer glow foundation it's the shade in Punjab I use my Sonia Kashuk multi-purpose flat top synthetic brush I love this you guys know that if you watch my videos. Second thing is I used my MAC uh, I can never remember the name of this. Select Moisture Cover Concealer. I put about three dots under each eye. I use my ring finger and just pat 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 until it and I even go over the little bridge of my nose where the red spots are until it's all absorbed. Then I use, I take, da 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 and I set my um, concealer, I can never remember that word, with my powder flash. Um, and I just take and I use a, this is a Sigma 224. I also have a MAC, but a 224 brush just to blend it underneath and set the powder. After I do that, I take my regular uh, powder to set my foundation, which is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. My shade is medium. And I take this fluffy no-name brush. It's my favorite powder brush. I got it at Walmart for like three or four dollars. Looks like that and it's great. Doesn't shed. It's so soft. And I just take and I dip and I pat everywhere that I have shine or don't want more shine. I do like a little bit of shine to my face um, because I think that looks more natural than, you know, extremely matte. That's just my... Uh, opinion. Um, third thing, I forgot to grab this out. Hang on. Sorry you can't see me. I have to move the camera to get this out. I gotta show this to you guys. Did I get it out? Ah, I did get it out. Sorry. Didn't have the brush, but I did have the product. I bought this yesterday at Walmart. It's by Rimmel London. And it is Lasting Finish uh, 008 Spring Flower. Uh, it's called Blendable Powder Blush and Highlighter. I used it today. I don't know if you can really see it, but I love it. You just uh, kind of rub your brush on all three colors and just dab it in and blend it back. It's really easy. And it's like a highlighter and blush all in one so you can skip the highlighter. I really, really like it. it it's very pigmented for a drugstore brand. Okay, so... That finishes my face for now. Moving on to my eyes. I took my MAC, 
Um, this is a velvet. The color is called Light Shade. It looks very sparkly, but it is more sparkly in the pan than it is on your eyes. I took my Sigma SS, I think this is a 275 brush, and I just took and I put it all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone and underneath my, you know, the bottom of my eye. Then, just to add a little bit of depth, but still stay in that nude tone, I used my one of my favorites, All That Glitters in MAC. I think everyone on YouTube has one of these. There's even a guru that calls herself that. She's really good too. But I took the same brush, dipped it in like at an angle, and I used it in the crease on the outer V and down to about a third of the bottom lash line. <clears throat> After that, I took my MAC. <clears throat> Fascinating eye coal. It is white. I always take, and I think I showed this in my video yesterday, you just turn it in your fingers. It doesn't even unsharpen it, but it makes it warm. And then you just, you can, you know, you can put it on your waterline. And I like to use this under my waterline a lot, no matter what colors I'm wearing. Sometimes I wear black or whatever, but if it's just a, you know, a general look, white makes your eyes appear wider and it also makes the whites of your eyes appear whiter if you can understand that so next thing I did was another eyeliner and this is something else that's kind of new it's by L'Oreal Paris it's called carbon black liner intense and it is a uh, felt tip liquid eyeliner it looks like this awesome you can do a really thick line or a really thin line and once it dries it doesn't budge and it gives you the time to mess with it if it does mess up I did a pretty thick line today but I kinda thought it just you know looked cool after that <clears throat> um, I let that dry just a couple minutes before I started on my eyeliner or my mascara, I mean, I didn't curl my lashes today. I just used my Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. And uh, I got this free in a kit somewhere, and I really like it. And the little wand looks like this. And I put two coats of that on. It is black, the color is, so it matches the eyeliner. So hopefully you can see my little eye look. I did do the eyeliner pretty thick and very winged. I also decided to go on a darker lipstick color today since I saw an eye booger. I'm getting that out. Excuse me, peeps. I don't like eye boogers. Anyway, I used a very dark lipstick today, and Nikki Corona, if you watch this video, I highly recommend this color to you. It is a MAC. It is a satin and the color is called underground it is a very it's a super deep dark color it's red brown blackish I think you would love it I toned mine down a little bit because I'm not as brave as the Nikki Corona and I use my tunnel of love super glass it's one of my prizes my giveaway first place and I just put that over so it's a little bit more shimmery so that's my makeup. Now, I have one minute left to talk to you about Super Freaky One Are You. Um, the one thing I love about you, your videos, and your channel, you are hilarious. You are so funny and you are so real. It's like when you are, when I'm watching your videos, I feel like I'm talking to a friend or listening to a friend. You have a great personality and I love it love it I wish I could do that um, sometimes my personality doesn't come through on YouTube sometimes I don't want it to and I don't know why but I love your personality now five quick things about me 20 seconds number one I have major OCD and anxiety I do not chronically wash my hands but I do make a lot of lists and I do make a lot of checking I am a very outspoken person sometimes like I said not on YouTube 
But um, other people uh, get fed up with me because I talk a lot. Very outspoken. Um, number three, I had jaw surgery when I was 15 to correct an overbite. Um, and it was also to uh, fix some locked jaw. Hospitalized for three days, couldn't eat for 30. Uh, would never have it again, but I'm glad I had it. Um, number four, I have never been out of the USA. And number five, I love animals so much that every time that Sarah McLaughlin commercial comes on, I cry. Whenever I see an animal covered in oil from the oil spill, I cry. So those are five things about me, hopefully not previously known on my profile or in any of my tag videos, just for you. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone.